into the Revenue Service IRS tax news. IRS free file can help first time filers with their tax returns. Yeah, the IRS free file is helpful, but wouldn't it be nice if we could cut the sentence down to simply IRS free. Imagine, just imagine living an IRS free life. I know it's difficult, kind of like a teenager trying to imagine life without TikTok, but seriously, Excess taxes and government intrusion over time does to GDP and individual prosperity what TikTok does to our impressionable minds. Wow! And I thought we needed to be careful of having our minds on drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Is it just me or would the country's youth be far more prosperous if parents could like bribe the kids off a of TikTok with like a beer, or some chewing tobacco and a joint or something? I'm not, I'm not recommending parents take that strategy or anything, mind you. I'm just saying it's, it's a safe bet that it would be a step up for everyone in that case. I mean, honestly. Like, we're used to thinking that computers will take over the world in the form of Arnold Schwarzenegger-shaped robots. But in reality, they're doing it with short one-minute videos of crazy people set to catchy music. I mean, who could have who seen that coming? I'm telling you, the cell phones are Skynet, man. Put down the cell phones. The cell phones are Skynet. Oh, crap. The cops are at my door. What are you doing? No, no, I'm not crazy. The TikTok people are the crazy ones. Stop hitting me with the baton, dang it. You're not allowed to do that in this society because I'm white. Ow, not, not the face, not the face. My guitar, you bastard. Okay, okay, I'll watch the next TikTok. IRS tax tip 2023-12 February 1st 2023 navigating the tax return preparation process can be intimidating if you're filing for the first time IRS free file can help there's a link to the IRS free file here which is in essence a link to a page on the IRS website organizing links to third-party software providers, software that's trading on the market for tax preparation purposes that have an agreement that if your income is below a certain threshold and possibly other requirements are met that you want to sort out and look through on the IRS free file, you might be able to get access to the software for free, which is great because even people with low income, which were typically easy tax returns, are more complex these days due in part to changes to the law for things like refundable tax credits. So even your first tax return, which is usually quite difficult, which is used, used to be quite easy. I mean, I used to call my first tax returns in on a phone uh, at one time, I believe. And now they're probably, they're gonna be more complex due to the complexity of the law. You wanna have software typically even with those, and you might be able to get access to it for free with the IRS free file. So this program provides free tax preparation, free electronic filing, and free direct deposit for eligible taxpayers. The IRS free file income limit for tax year 2022 is $73,000 for families and individuals. Each provider sets their own eligibility requirement based on age, state residency, and income, and offers are available in both English and Spanish. So notice that not all of the providers, if your income is below 73,000, in other words, that's not gonna be the only criteria. Some of the providers might have different AGI criterias, and some of them might have other things that they limit, such as possibly credits. You wanna make sure they have the capacity to calculate like the earned income tax credit if you need to, which is a more complicated credit. And also different states, maybe some of the software might not have all the state eligibility for free as well. So this is just, they're, they're citing like the cap, the 73,000, the highest point. Obviously the IRS trying to look as good as possible, picking the one that has kind of the highest AGI limit, but there are other limitations. That's why you wanna go onto the IRS free file so you could sort 
which of the software might be best for your particular needs. So taxpayers can use IRS free file lookup tool to find the offer that is right for them. To complete a tax return with IRS free file, taxpayers will need the following information. Their social security number. Taxpayers who don't have or aren't eligible for an SSN social security number can use the individual taxpayer identification number. There's a link to that here. So they need to know who you are. Obviously, you are a number to them. You are the social security number. If you don't have one of those, then they still want your money, right? So they give you some other number so, so that they can, they could, you still need to file a return. So they can get, so get a number so they can know who you are and take your money. Anyways, their wage and income information. This information is usually on forms from their employer, such as the W-2 wage and tax statement and form 1099 series. So the income, that's what we're going to be basing our taxes on. It's an income tax. Typically, most people have a W-2 statement, but a lot of people are doing gig work and other stuff these days. So you might have 1099s. Remember that even if you don't get a 1099, if you had income, the IRS wants part of it and you should be reporting it. And so that's that. So if they are being claimed as a dependent, so are you being claimed as a dependent? That's a question if you're the first person, to, if it's like the first time you're filing the tax return. The question is, could you still be claimed as a dependent by your parent? It could be different depending on uh, if you're going to school and whatnot, college situations. And if you are, if you could be claimed as a dependent, then which would be better for it to be claimed as a dependent on the parent's return or your own return? Sometimes people uh, get to the point where they're going to they're try to file a tax return to get a refund on their own, like for the first time without without separating the, the fact that their parents are still going to claim them that's an issue because now you're going to be claimed on two tax returns you can't do that you can only be on you know only one person gets the benefit of the individual's deductions that you might have or or tax benefits uh, per person as either a dependent or if you're filing yourself the standard deduction for example as a, as a benefit and whatnot okay so they will need to know if another taxpayer, such as parent, is claiming them on a separate tax return. Taxpayers who are being claimed by someone else as a dependent may still file their own tax return, but they can't claim themselves as a dependent. Documentation for all tax credits and deductions. So with the increased standard deduction, itemized deductions may not be necessary. So if it's your first time filing a tax return, it's very likely that you're going to be using the standard deduction and not the itemized deduction. That was kind of part of the point because that should simplify the tax code to some degree. All credits and deductions are subject to IRS verification and review. Their prior year adjusted gross income and self-select PIN. They need this information to validate and sign an electric tax return. First time filers over the age of 16 can simply enter zero as their prior year income for signature purposes. That's the secret code, mind you. So if you, if you uh, had a prior tax return and it wasn't processed or anything, the IRS doesn't know what the AGI is. So you have to enter zero and then you can process your return. So taxpayers who have filed before should use the adjusted gross income from their prior year tax return. Uh, bank account and routing numbers. Filers need this information for direct deposit or any refund into a taxpayer's bank account. So if you want the bank, the, the money going directly into your account, then you'll need the direct deposit. Otherwise, they're going to have to give you the refund in the mail or something like that. Obviously, the IRS is trying to get everyone on direct deposit. If you owe them money, then you can choose to pay them however you choose to pay them. It might not be as urgent a process to you in that case, as long as you're avoiding the penalties and interest. But the direct deposit and payments, electronic payments are kind of the easiest thing to get verification quickly as well. Direct deposits, the fastest and safest way for them to get their money. I'm not sure if it's the safest, that's debatable, but certainly the fastest typically. So that is a true statement. And there's links to, so there's links to that stuff here. If you want to take a look at it, the, and links to the, uh, to search for the software on the free, free software options, possibilities. And there'll be a link to this in the description.